Sorry about the noise in the background. Right, so we've done plenty of trains. I did buses on the last video. So today it's actually the turn of bikes and ferries. So, okay, so here I am at the Gunko Pier and I think the boat's going to go in a few minutes. So I'm going to get a little bit of a rush on to, to make it uh, and let's see if all of this actually works. And it's a nice sunny day here in Shanghai, by the way. So the, uh, the, the system here uses the Metro card. So I think, I thought it was two RMB, but it was just showing um, 2.8 there. Um, let me, uh, <laughs> let me get on the boat. Oh, did I just miss it? Oh no. Oh, oh dear. I have just missed the boat. There it goes. I guess I missed it by about one minute. Now, I think it goes every 10 minutes. It might even be, uh... anyway, that was a bit of a bash. So here's the times and I just missed the 11.40. So the next one is at uh, 12 o'clock. That's, <laughs> that's unfortunate, 20 minutes. Um, hmm. Oh well. So you can see there's uh, there's a few other cyclists uh, joining the ferry as well. So that's the Shupu Bridge, which is one of several bridges which cross the Huangpu River, uh, the main river that we have here going through the centre of Shanghai. And I believe the first bridge was in 1911, opened in 1911. And before then, the only way to get across the Huangpu was by ferry. Now, way back in the past, it used to be by private sampan, boats uh, and now the city has I think it's a network it's something like 18 ferry crossings uh, throughout the entire uh, length of the of the Huangpu um, mostly in the center of town but then we have these other ferries like the one I'm taking today you know, on the outskirts as well All right, so there's everybody getting off So the ferry should be leaving at 12, which is basically now. I always like to see if uh, some last people are going to make it. And it looks like these people aren't. Oh, are they going to try? He's trying. He's running for it. Ooh. Uh, no. What a shame. towards the uh, center of town. This, this area here where you can see these buildings is uh, specifically focused on high technology, AI developments, etc. I think this pier is called San, San Lin Lu, so San Lin. Road. You can see the there's a bit of the cycle track, which I'll be taking north. And that's it. All done in four minutes. Right, bye bye, Tiger. Enjoy your cycling trip. Now, well, let me get back to the bike. So this is a hire bike. This is an Alipay bike, which you can rent by using a QR code and your mobile phone. It all works very smoothly. Let me just get off the ferry first. Um, this uh, crossing has only got one boat on it. Um, leaving every 10 minutes so 20 minutes either way and um, you know some of the ferry crossings have got um, more boats like two boats um, crisscrossing
Right, so bye bye to the ferry. Let's go to the cycle track. Right, here's the cycle track. I've got a little bit of a noisy bike. I've got a bit of a rattle. <laughs> so, I hope that's not too annoying. Yeah, this, this is the cycle track which goes along the uh, the western side, the western bank of the Huangpu River for quite some kilometres. I think the ferry was two RMB, by the way, so that's around about 30 US cents or 24 of your British P. So what's quite good about the cycle track is it has quite a lot of these stations about every kilometre or two. And they have things like um, tap water and toilets and free Wi-Fi. I uh, fixed my rattle by shoving a five RMB note behind, behind the nut that was rattling. A lot of people out today with the nice weather and I need to keep the pace up. I've got around about 14 kilometres to go. I think we've got a bridge coming up here. It wouldn't be Shanghai without a bit of construction work. Quite a few people out camping today. Looks like the, the jogging track and the cycle track split ways. Uh, a lot of people have parked up here and then they've come over to the park uh, to pitch their tents there. So when you're cycling one-handed and holding a camera, I can tell you these strips <laughs> start to get really annoying. <laughs> There's some old crane. Tents out. flowers. Can't really see it very well but that kind of futuristic looking curved building is the International Swimming Centre. Ah the ubiquitous Starbucks. So this cycle track actually goes through quite a bit of the old 2010 World Expo site. You can see there saying World Expo Hangja Sports Culture Club. So we're just coming up to this next bridge. This is a slightly larger river that we're going over this time. You can see quite a lot of those um, transport vessels, cargo vessels. Loads of tents. So I should have mentioned when talking about crossing the river that there's the metro network as well, of course. Uh, initially it was line two, that was the main uh, east-west uh, line, but now I think there's about nine of them that do it. So there's uh, two, four, four does it twice, uh, to make the circle, and then there's eight, seven, eleven, nine, uh, and I think the new, I think the line 14 uh, crosses as well, so it's, it's quite a lot of them. Some little water park I haven't seen before. So I was looking for a higher bike and then there's a whole load. Thank you. <laughs> oh my word. I almost got taken out. <laughs> Phew wee, I honestly thought that was it. There was I was on the right side of the path and there was some kid just came swerving across in front of me. Woo wee! Adrenaline. <laughs> It's a really nice area actually. Uh, there's a coffee shop as well. There's a Manor Coffee. I don't know if that's an international brand or just a Chinese one, but there's many of them here. Now that's the uh, the next bridge, which is the Lupu Bridge coming up. Here we are going underneath the bridge. And I don't know what this is. It looks like a theatre. A romance show, it says. I've never seen that one before. 
Romance Show and Romance Park. Huh. It's a pedestrian bridge. Romance Park seems to have a hotel attached. For those that uh, get on well together. There's another one of the service centres. They're actually numbered. This is number 12, it says. So, a totem pole of shiny animal's heads. So, there's the map. I think we're over halfway. We've just been coming through the Expo Culture Park, and you can see I'm headed for that other ferry uh, to the north, Dong Chung Lu Duko. I've got Strava going. I only just started it about uh, 10 minutes ago, unfortunately, last two and a half kilometres. But there you go, I'm doing about 15 kilometres an hour. <laughs> not, not fantastic, but it's a higher bike with a rusty chain. There are various sculptures, big and small. I think that's supposed to be a boat. Ship. There, we're right next to the riverside now. That's the Mercedes-Benz Arena. And there's also the China World Expo building in the background, that red one, which is now an art museum. And then that's the Riverside Mall, I think that's called, that upturned funnel. That was all part of the Expo buildings. Um, I think this Mercedes Arena looks fantastically like a, a UFO, and it has an ice skating rink in the basement. Nice boat. And there's the next bridge in the background, which I think is the Nan. You might be able to see the super tools in the background there, the Shanghai Tower, the Shanghai World Financial Center, and just peeking over those apartments is the Pearl Tower. We just went over another river, there's an old dock crane, and you might be able to hear I've got my raffle back. But you know what that means? That means I've lost the 5 RB that was wedging it <laughs> to stop it rattling, so somebody's got a, a little prize for them. So there's the uh, power station of art, that building with the large chimney next to it. So it used to be a power station and it's been turned into a, an art gallery. Interesting sculpture. And there. So there's one ferry terminal, Nanma Pier. But we're going to push on to the next one, which is much more in the centre of town. Another four kilometres, I think. So here we are going under the Nanpu. So uh, the overall pathway is called the East Bund and we have actually had these info boards uh, all along the way. I just haven't really stopped to uh, show you any of them. Uh, you can see that they've got general directions and distances to the next uh, um, service centre and toilets etc. Really starting to get into the city now. They're dancing, a sight often seen here in Shanghai. I think we found our ferry. Let me just double check. No, this is not the ferry terminal I am looking for, so I'm going to push on, get further into town. Avoid these people, hopefully. Go up the hill. I've not been around here before. I've been further north and further south, but I've never linked the two. So, this is the ferry I'm going to take because there's a boat here and I want to get it. I'll tell, you which, I'll tell you which ferry pier it is when we get on the boat. Good, good, good. The gates aren't closing. Bash, bash. So that's the Yangjia Pier. We are still here, and I stopped about one ferry stop early. It was just another kilometre to the next one, but I think we are close enough into the centre of town to see the city, as you can there. And there's a half basketball court, and there you can see. The East Bund pathway continues. I think the cycle path is in the background there somewhere. There's a 
that's the Pudong side. There's the Super Tools. There's some very nice apartments here as well. It must cost an absolute fortune. And you can see the next ferry is just there. So I stopped one kilometre early. There's this strange um, lighthouse building, which I think is a restaurant. Pretty much everything along here is uh, is a restaurant. People like to eat on the on the riverside. There's the ferry coming across there. And that's the centre of town. So you can see that this cycle path truly takes you down in the Minhang kind of countryside. Still in the city, really. And you can come all of the way into the very centre of town. We've got the Bund just up there in the distance. You can just about see the Cathay Pacific green roof there. And as I mentioned, we've got the super tall buildings over in Pudong. And this time we've got a double ferry. So you can see there's the, there's the other one going back. So those people won't have to wait for, for too long. You can see it is an active shipping route. There's many ships coming right through the centre of town. It's only about two minutes, two minutes this time. So they're all pretty similar to each other. So East, East Fushinglu. So you go, there's the entrance. This um, ferry pier actually has two routes. Okay, so that one is going off to a different area. So I deliberately come this far to actually uh, link up to the, the Bund, which you can see up ahead. I'm cycling on the pavement, which theoretically I shouldn't really be doing. So I think I'm gonna to have to dismount and push in a minute. Here's the other ferry terminal that I should have been coming into. And there's the, uh, the tower. It's actually a meteorological tower, which tells the ships what uh, the weather conditions are going to be like. And you can just see uh, the edge of the Waldorf Hotel there, but I'm going to cross this road because fire bikes are not allowed on the bun. Right, time to say goodbye to the trusty steed. So like I was saying earlier, what you do is you just uh, uh, scan the QR code and that unlocks this uh, automatic lock here. And then simply to uh, stop it, you close the lock, beeps at you, and then the app on the phone will tell me how much that's cost me. That's an Alipay bike. There's about three or four different companies. You can see there's orange ones, there's green ones, which are part of the DD service. Okay, bye bye bike. Thank you. Now the good news is that Alipay also show you the route that you've just taken. So there you can see I've got the entire route. It's not giving me an exact um, length of, of journey, which would be nice. But I think that was around about um, 14, 15 kilometers. I'll just show you a little bit more of the Bund. It's up ahead. Open top sightseeing bus. I guess I'll go on one of those on one of the future videos. So here I am coming up on the south edge of the Bund. Many people up there, many buses. So there we have some different modes of transport with the, the ferries and the bicycles, a little bit different from all the trains that I normally do. And here's another bus 71 just coming in. Okay, bye now.